Hi everyone, welcome back to the Lilac House. My name is Crystal, I'm glad you're here. Today I have kind of a little bit of everything. It's kind of like a motivational video. So I'm going to share an easy barbecue chicken slow cooker recipe. And this chicken can be used for so many things. Today I'm using it to make a really delicious St. Patty's Day salad that is so yummy and it would be so easy to meal prep. Also have a TJ Maxx haul for you. I actually really, really love TJ Maxx and I just think it's a really beautiful store and I could buy everything. I wanted to share with you a couple things that I bought today. And then in addition, I might get around, I have a two year old and she's been coloring on the walls and the couch. I might get around to cleaning those spots up. We'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let's get into this video. I have wanted to share this amazing slow cooker barbecue chicken recipe with you for so long. And today is finally that day. So to a slow cooker, add one to two pounds of chicken, depending on how much you want to make. Today, I am using frozen chicken tenderloins. They're my personal favorite. Next, add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and a dash of salt and pepper. Then, add a couple tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce. My personal favorite barbecue sauce is the Stubbs Sticky and Sweet Sauce. It is delicious. Next, you'll add my secret ingredient, and that is two teaspoons of liquid smoke. This one is hickory flavored. Then cover your slow cooker and cook your chicken on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to six hours. When it is all done, you can shred your chicken and then you'll add one third to a half cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. And this chicken is so good, you can just eat it plain. It's one of my favorite ways to meal prep chicken. Today, I am making a barbecue St. Patrick's Day salad. I had a few veggies in my fridge that I wanted to use up, so I thought it would be a great way to eat a salad. I chopped up some cucumber, some bell pepper, and some romaine lettuce. I added all of the veggies to a bowl and I topped it with pepperoncinis. They're some of my favorite toppings on a salad. Then I added some of my barbecue chicken, some sunflower seeds, and a little more barbecue sauce and my favorite store-bought ranch dressing this salad was so good it was amazing i loved it and i could really eat it every single week like i said in my intro i wanted to clean up some crayon and pen marks my daughter had made on our wall and couch yes we are in that stage right now. For the wall, I used a dry magic eraser to remove the crayon. Then I got the other side damp because there was also some blueberry jam next to the crayon. <laughs> this worked out very well. Next, I moved on to the couch. We don't have the most beautiful couch in the world, but we do like to keep it looking nice. So first I tried out the magic eraser on the pen and it did not work. Then I tried out some baby wipes. They didn't make a dent either. So I tried out some of the tried and true rubbing alcohol. This one was 70% and it actually worked like a charm. Now I am off to hide all the pens, all the markers, and all the crayons in my house. Okay, like I said, I have a TJ Maxx haul and I wanted to share it with you. I love shopping at TJ Maxx. Give this video a thumbs up if you do too. Honestly, when I go, I have to have self-control because I could walk out with so many things. So usually before I go to TJ Maxx, I like to know what I'm going for and what I need. So I don't walk out with anything else. And usually, if you're like me, I have an ongoing list in my head of new things I need 
or things that like on my phone I have a list. If you watch my last Dollar Tree haul, you know I love Easter candy. <laughs> like it's the best candy of all the candies. And so I saw these. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Bergani, Obeti. Um, they looked really good. Look at that picture. And so I thought these would be great to put in some Easter eggs. And then I don't know about you, but usually the snacks just are so appealing at TJ Maxx that I buy one so we could snack on the way home. But we decided to open up these and snack on them. They were $4.99. It says compared to $7. I didn't like them personally. <laughs> I didn't think they were good. It says that there's like a chocolate ganache. At the bottom it says dark chocolate eggs filled with chocolate ganache. And so I wanted the middle to be like this really fudgy chocolate. Instead, it was more liquidy. Um, I just, it, I wasn't a big fan. My kids liked them, so I'll still put them in their eggs, but it's a no for me. I'm a chocolate lover. It was a no. I bought these and uh, I am very frugal. And so I bought these. I'm going to tell you how much they were, but you're going to shake your finger at me. They were $7, $6.99. Uh, it says compared to $8.99, I know I could have bought gold coins at the Dollar Tree probably two months ago for $1.25 for the same amount. These ones say Happy Easter and they have that cute little bunny, but I have listening ears. The whole point for these was to do a Leprechaun's um, G-O-L-D-H-U-N-T. And so that's, I just worried that stores wouldn't have these and I didn't think about it. We wanna do it for Leprechaun's Day, St. Patty's Day. The whole reason we went in, I love the selection of candles at TJ Maxx and I got this candle for $10. It has like this nice little handle and the wood lid. And then it smells just really good. It's called Sunday Mimosa. Um, and then it says fruity, sweet, and bubbly and it's from DW Home. I don't know a lot about candles, but this one smells good. They have such an amazing selection and it was $10 and I just could buy a billion candles. They had the really large candles. Have you seen those? I kind of wanted one, but I didn't like the smell of it. So I bought those. <laughs> and then I have a couple more things. This one will be surprising to most of you. I bought two loofahs for $3.99. They are deluxe puff spa solutions they're just really soft now if you see my top things you should buy at the dollar tree a loofah is on that list because in the end you're gonna wash your body with the loofah and you're gonna throw it in the trash you don't need a really fancy loofah at two dollars a piece these ones are just really soft you can tell they're really good quality the next thing i bought was a water bottle we have the Ozark water bottles, like water cups. They're a knockoff brand of the popular water bottle from a couple years ago. You can buy them at Walmart. We love those. But my husband and I both go to the gym. We go to spin class and we have a water bottle we use, but we've just started taking BCAAs and I just needed another bottle that was easy to drink. And it was $6.99. It's the brand Blender Bottle Hydration Halix. I guess you can drink the water like this but we just need another one for spin class. I have a great selection. Okay, I need new sunglasses and all of mine are scratched. I have a rule. I don't like to spend more than $10 on sunglasses, preferably $5. I've thought about buying sunglasses at the Dollar Tree, but every time I look at them, they just don't look cute on me. Um, I just can't find any that I like. And so I bought my husband some TJ Maxx sunglasses last year for his birthday and they're really good quality. So. While I was there, I wanted to look. I found this Lucky Brand pair of sunglasses. Oh, there's my ring light. Um, they look like this on the side. And I don't care about brand names. And they are $9.99, or they were $9.99 compared to $17. And they were cute. And you can tell they're good quality. I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses. Usually I buy them at the swap meet or on sale somewhere but they're good quality they'll be great for summer and they're not scratched they're really dark and so it's a win-win i think they're cute i liked them so now i have i'm a whole new woman i have new sunglasses but i can't spend a lot of money on sunglasses okay this next item i'm so excited for i am a planner girl and look at this planner it says 2022 and it has like this cloud sunset sunrise 
design on it. It totally reminds me of the Lover era, Taylor Swift. You know what I'm talking about. A Colo brand, E-C-C-O-L-O. -O. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'm a planner girl. Usually I buy mine at the Dollar Tree and this year I went for the new year and I couldn't find a planner. And so I decided to look at the Dollar Tree. I think Katherine Manning, do any of you follow her channel? She uh, said that she liked to buy planners at TJ Maxx and I was like, oh, I haven't thought about it. I have my personal favorite planner and I will link it below. It's through Amazon. I think it's called Day, Plan Day Planner. Day I don't remember one day um but it's my favorite and it was really long it's like a big planner but the thing i like about planners the thing i want in a planner is a big list where i can write stuff down my last dollar tree planner didn't really have that but you'll see here that this includes you can't read it it's backwards um it's from january to december and includes weekly planning pages monthly overview monthly and weekly calendars tab dividers and stickers and it's a seven by eight and a half the thing I'm sad about is I wish it were going from now, so March until March. So I'll be off two months, but then I'll just go buy another one. I was super impressed at the price. It was only $9.99 compared to $15. And if you go to Target or Walmart, their planners are not this nice and they will be twice the price, like $20, $30. It is a hard shell. I need to keep it away from my two-year-old because she colors on all my nice things way into coloring and she colors on it all anyways i'm gonna show you how it is inside and then i can show you a video of, of me using it so it has the overview month and then i just love planners it has stickers in it i'm not i've never really used stickers on my planner it's not something i do but these ones are cute it says like gno girls night out which i need to do reminders make it happen get it done best day ever take note to do's, date nights, like I think it will be fun for me to sit down, road trip, um, let's go on an adventure, vacay, dentist, doctor's appointment. And then for each month, it has like a motivational sheet and it gives you a quote. This one says, in a world full of trends, I want to remain a classic. And then I'll show you January's. It also has another one, inspiration is everywhere. So I, this is what I'm really excited about. So it has this page here and you can't read it all, but it will say January overview. So it says January goals, January to do's, and then January reminders, other important dates and birthdays. So it has this for the main page. I really like this because I am trying to set each month to be really intentional, whether that's a workout of me wanting to focus on doing more yoga, more stretches, or drinking more water, or YouTube, or like my scripture study, or spending that quality time with friends. I can set that intentionally each month and go back and look at it, and I really like that. Um, something I've noticed is when I do use a planner and I like look at it weekly, monthly, I don't, I'm not always good at every day, but if I do look at it daily, I just, I notice I, I don't accomplish more, but I'm more intentional about my day. And so this is a whole planner talk. If you want me to talk, I've been using planners since junior high and I love that. Okay, so then, so it has that intentional page, like overview, and then here it has the full month. And so you can make notes and you can like kind of fill it out by month of everything going on, birthdays, blah, blah, blah. And then this is what I, like this is, this speaks to me in a planner. I can't believe it was only $10. So then it shows the day. So each day is here and look at all the things and they, over here it has like little circle bullet points so you can check stuff off. So I'm really excited about it. Okay, that was like 15 minute TJ Maxx haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you remember that you are amazing and you are loved and I will see you next time on the Lilac House. Bye. Also spring is this week, it's in the air. I'm so excited, spring's my favorite season. Also, this shirt is inspiring me. I got it at Old Navy, it says nurtured by nature and check out the back. Isn't that so cute? Anyways.